What's up, Fox Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Fox Players with your host, Fox, aka Alex. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these, but unboxing time, you guys requested one. Here's one coming up right now. So first up, in the nice hot pink uh, shipping packaging. I haven't seen hot pink packaging in my entire life. I'm serious. I've been, what, collecting games for a long time, never seen hot pink. Anyway, in here we've got... So this is officially the first Vita game I own. I don't own a single Vita game. I don't even own a Vita. Probably won't be playing this for a long time. But it's called Volume, another limited run game. I'll pop it over in the shrink wrap. So simple packaging. Shows you how little I know about the Vita. I didn't even realize the games come on little small SD cards. But it comes with an instruction manual. Just a few, just a few short pages. This is really cute. On the first page of the instruction manual, a little thank you from the actual developer for... You know, for, for us for us fans saying, you know what, we want a physical copy of this game. But this is my favorite thing about the instruction manual. Check this out. Now, for those of you who unfortunately missed out the generation of games that came with instruction manuals, usually they came with a notes page in the back. And honestly, I've bought a lot of games and no one's ever written notes. There was that one fuckhead who actually left cheat codes behind. I was like, you just devalued the instruction manual. But anyway, that's just the collector inside of me talking. But look, well, look what it says here. Notes. Nope. I don't know why manuals have this either. Something to do with the page count. You'd complain if we did, hadn't included a note pages. Yes, you would have. And you know what? They're probably right. So next up, if you've been following me on Facebook, you would have noticed I put this picture up already. So I've got the three, the two Shantae games there and the Game Boy Color soundtrack. There's my PO box if you ever want to send me something. So let's open this box up. Oh, Shantae, you sexy, sexy pirate lady. So the cool thing is I've got the two, the two games that are being released on uh, digital. It's got the soundtrack here as well, the original Game Boy Color soundtrack, so it probably sounds like beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. Nah, seriously, some Game Boy music is actually pretty legit. I actually have a really big soft spot for the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. I'd love to actually do a video on me playing some of those classic games, by the way. Awesome art card as usual. It has a checklist of all the games so you can see how hardcore you are. So what I'll do is I'll pop open the shrink wrap. And now I know these covers are actually also reversible as well. So let's check it out. So here's the back cover of both the Shantae games. Really cool artwork on the back. So it's got a little small insert in that. Fortunately, it's not a really cool. It's just a couple of pages just giving some warnings and that. Some credits. So no really cool artwork inside the instruction manuals. But I'll flip the covers inside out. So here's the reverse of both the game covers as well. Super cool artwork as usual. If you guys haven't been to Limited Run yet, check out their website. Really cool indie games, physical copies of all their PS, just basically all the PS4 stuff I've noticed, but they've started doing some PC games as well coming soon. So look, really looking forward to that. But we've still got one last game to go. Back off boys, she's my waifu. Don't you dare even think about her. Don't you even dare. I'm watching you. You, yeah you. Last but not least, Yomawari Night Alone. Now, fun fact about this game, I actually had this on my Steam wish list. I was actually ready to play it on my channel, but then I had to go to Japan. So, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to playing this game. But yeah, they released this game both on Steam and PS Vita. This is the Vita version. So, as you can tell by that creepy motherfucking back cover, yeah, this is a Japanese horror game. It's super creepy. Basically, you're a girl stuck by herself in this city with monsters from Japanese folklore chasing after you. And the cool thing is it comes with both Yomawari and that hot, I don't even know how to pronounce that game. Hotel hashtag NIQ, the Firefly Diary. But this is a slip case, so I'll slip this out. So essentially the same artwork, same back artwork. Now let me just get these tabs open because these are really tight. By the way, if you guys want to know how to get these tabs open without bending cardboard, you got to use a knife. And as you can see, I've opened it successfully without bending the cardboard here. That's right, I'm a seasoned unboxer. Don't you dare mess with me. And don't, I'm always judging, guys. If I see some bent cardboard here, I know what you've been doing. You forced it open, didn't you? Anyway, let's check it out. So inside comes with two, two nice thick books for both, both each game. And then the PS Vita game comes with both games on the cartridge. And also the soundtrack for the original game. Oh, god damn that name. H-T-O-L hashtag N-I-Q. I'm just going to call that the Firefly Diary. Fortunately, no instruction manual, but really cool feature. Reversible cover. That's pretty damn cool. I love, I love reversible covers. Really cool art book. Just has some cool concept art with uh, some director commentary down the below in the text boxes. There are pictures of the monsters as well. I'm a big fan of Japanese horror. You guys probably might have, you might have checked out my Clock Tower playthrough. Huge Japanese horror game, gamer. And this is the HTO hashtag NIQ, the Firefly Diary book as well. So yeah, more cool concept art inside. 
Yeah, this is this is really cool. I'm actually glad I picked this up. I didn't even know there was a special edition for this game until I literally went to the shops this weekend and was like, oh damn, I gotta get that. So that was another unboxing with your boy Fox Plays. Some awesome PS4 indie games, plus some Vita games. Now I've officially got two Vita games and I don't even own a Vita. So if anyone wants to send me a PS Vita for Christmas, that would be much obliged. Don't worry guys, I'm not asking for PSV, but if you want to send me one, be my guest. You probably saw the address in one, my, my postal box address in one of those pictures. And we'll end the episode there. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of the packaging inside? And have you rewarded yourself with a cool Christmas present or any significant others giving you some cool ass collectibles? I'm, 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 looking forward to, I'm looking forward to next year when I've got my two Dark Souls statues coming, coming next week. And don't worry, those, those are going to be some epic unboxings. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Bye.